Hello, welcome to West Enemy Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? We are back with another Coral Island tutorial. This time around, we're going to talk a little bit about fruit trees and fruit plants. Now, if you have missed the other tutorials I have done before, or guides, the link is down in the description below for the playlist. And let's talk a little bit about fruit trees and fruit plants. Now, aside from growing crops, you your, you as a player can plant fruit trees and fruit plants. So there are a bit of a difference between the two. Sorry, both produce fruits every four days. So a fruit plant is grows from seedlings and you will obtain fruit plants from town rank E and some of them from town rank C. Fruit plants need two by two plot of tilled land and fruit plants only last for two seasons anything any season outside of the two seasons it can live it will die off and it takes 10 days to grow a fruit plant to adult and it will reproduce every four days now fruit trees can only be obtained in town rank C and it grow from saplings instead of seedlings you can plant fruit trees anywhere in your farm, but just leave 8 squares around it empty. It lasts for the whole year, it won't die off, but it only produces in this one season it is active. So fruit trees take 28 days to grow, and it also produces fruits every 4 days. Now let's check out every type of fruit plant we have in Coral Island. The first one is avocado. Avocado is a winter and spring fruit. It costs 1,000 coins to plant avocado seedlings. Its selling price range from 59 coins to 118 coins and you can get avocados in town rank C. Next is the banana. Banana can grow in spring and summer season. It costs 800 coins to buy banana seedling. It can sell for 50 coins to 100 coins. And you can obtain bananas in town rank E. Next is the cocoa bean. Cocoa beans can grow from fall and winter time. It costs 1,500 coins to buy the seedling. Its selling price is at 85 coins up to 170 coins and you can get cocoa beans on town rank C. Now cocoa beans are a different unique kind of fruit because it can, cannot be made into jam or into juice but it can be used for different recipes when you are cooking in your kitchen. Next is the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit can grow on the summer and fall seasons it costs 1,350 coins to buy the set. Seedlings, it can sold for 68 coins to 136 coins. And you can get dragon fruits and town rank E. Next is a jackfruit. Jackfruit can also be grown on the summer and fall season. It costs 1,500 coins to buy the seedlings. And it's sold for 74 coins to 148 coins. And you can get jackfruit in town rank E. Next is the lemon. Lemon trees can grow in fall and winter season. It costs 1,200 coins to buy the seedlings. And it can be sold for 61 coins to 122 coins. And it is unlocked in town rank C. Next is the lychee. Lychee can grow on spring and winter seasons. It costs 1,500 coins to buy the seedlings and it can be sold for 79 coins to 158 coins and you can get lychee on town rank C. Next is the papaya. Papaya trees can be planted on the summer and fall season. It costs 1,350 coins to buy the seedlings. It can be sold for 68 coins to 136 coins and you can get papayas on town rank E. For pears, pears can be grown in the fall and winter season. It 
cost 1,350 coins to buy the seedlings. You can sell pairs at 68 coins to up to 136 coins. And you can get pears and Taurang C. Next is the plum. Plum can be planted on spring and summer seasons. It costs 1,350 coins to buy the seedlings. And it can be sold for 68 coins up to 136 coins. And you can get plums on town rank E. Next is the rambutan. Rambutans can be planted in the spring and summer seasons. It costs 1,350 coins to buy the seedlings. It can be sold for 73 coins to 146 coins. And you can get rambutans in town rank E. The last fruit plant we can get is the snake fruit. You can get grow snake fruits on spring and winter seasons. It costs 1,200 coins to buy the seedlings. It can be sold for 67 coins to 134 coins. And you can get snake fruits in town rank C. Next, let's look at the fruit trees. First of all is the almond. Almond is the winter fruit tree. It costs 4,250 coins to buy the saplings and it can be sold from 144 coins to 288 coins. Almonds can be made into flour and can be pressed into almond oil. Next is apples. Apples are a four season fruit. It can cost up to 4,000 coins to buy the saplings and it can be sold for 136 coins to 272 coins. Next is a durian. Durian is a spring fruit tree. It can cost 4,500 coins to buy the sapling. Durian can be sold for 150 coins to 310 coins. Next is the mango. Mango is a summer fruit tree. It costs 4,000 coins to buy the saplings and it can be sold for 136 coins to 272 coins. Next is the olive. Olive can be produced during the fall season. It costs 4,000 coins to buy the sapling and it can be sold for 136 coins to 272 coins. Now olive is also a unique fruit because it can be pressed as olive oil, but not for juice and jams. Next is the orange. Orange is a spring fruit tree. It costs 4,000 coins to buy the saplings. Oranges can be sold at 136 coins to 272 coins. Last but not least is the peach. Peach is actually a summer fruit tree. It costs 4,500 coins to buy the saplings and it costs 153 coins to sell up to 306 coins. Okay, that's pretty much it for me to share about fruit trees and fruit plants in Coral Island. What do you guys think? Please leave me a comment. I hope this guide is helpful for you when you grow your fruit trees. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on retro sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!